peace be upon you. you. Start in the name of the most high. The highest point, the inaba muslimin. May Allah grant us this level. You have to understand the people of the highest level of inaba, the inaba of muhsinin right here. The more one has inaba, the more the shaitan puts effort into them. The more the shaitan plots, you would think the otherwise, but it's the more the shaitan plots against these people. And Ibn Taymiyyah specifically mentioned this. He said, the shaitan plots against the people of inaba more than anyone else. And he plots against those who pray more than the ones who don't. And he plots against the people of knowledge more than he does the layman. That's the reason why sometimes students of knowledge, students of ilm, and worship, worshipers get wiswas and they get doubts. They get doubts more than what others get. More than others who don't follow the guidance. Uh, the, 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 the ones who follow the right path get more wiswas than them, more whispers from the shaitan. Uh, uh, Imam Ahmad in his Zuhd, in Abu Naim in al Hulya, in Ibn al Qayyim in, in, in al Wabil al Sayyib, and Ibn Taymiyyah mentioned it throughout the Fatawa. They narrated a story that someone went to Ibn Abbas and he said, The Jews are teasing us. They say, We have khushu' in our salah and we feel no wiswas. We have no doubts in our salah. Yet you believers have wuswas. Ibn Abbas said, what does the shaitan want with a desolate house? With a doomed house, abandoned house. So Ibn Taymiyyah warned that among the most who get plotted by the shaitan are those who achieve the level of inaba. You gotta, be, you gotta keep that in mind in this ibadah. It's normal for the shaitan to attack with doubts. The Sahaba complained of this issue. What's wrong is for one not to resist it. The shaitan starts with small matters. If one doesn't overcome these small matters of doubts and resist them, they get worse and worse. Uthman ibn Abil As went to the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He said, O Messenger of Allah, the shaitan intervenes between me and my prayer and my recitation of the Quran and confounds me. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that is the shaitan who is known as al-khanzab. That's his, his task. That's his duty. When you perceive its effect, seek refuge with Allah from it and spit three times to your left. Uthman said, I did that and Allah dispelled that problem from me. So if the sahaba complained of the shaitan's wuswas, of course, everyone after them is going to face something like that. Ibn Abbas, in, in, uh, when he mentioned the al al waswas al khannas, he said, "A shaitan ujathimun ala qalbi ahadikum." The shaitan squats, squats, on the hearts of the sons of Adam. When one is mindless of the remembrance of Allah, the shaitan does waswas, whispering. If he remembers Allah, the shaitan withdraws, khanas, from the whispering. That's why it's called al waswas al khannas. Those of Inaba must be in constant remembrance of Allah at all times. Because the shaitan is after them. Some get mild doubts, some get average doubts, some get extreme doubts. And some get them in the matters of worship. Some get them in the matters of belief. 